to that Kevin Show with Kevin McCullough. Welcome back. Kevin McCullough, Times Square. You know, we love to have fun and we love to talk about the things that are going on in the news. But you also know that if you listen to me, I use a part of my platform all the time to try to impact the world around me and to make the world a better place. And that's why I'm so grateful for a partner like Food for the Poor that has been working in the poorest of the poor countries for 40 plus years in some instances, uh, 38 specifically in uh, Haiti, uh, which is the, the country of focus for me because that's where my adopted son is from. And the reason I adopted a child from Haiti was because of the extreme poverty I saw on multiple trips there. And I knew that I could make a difference in his life. Paul Jacobs is back with us. Paul, we're not asking people to uh, adopt an orphan and to change their whole uh, the structure of how they live and all the rest of that. I mean, if, if they want to do that, I can point them in the direction of how that can happen. Right. But today we're talking about something much more practical, and that is getting food to children while they're starving so that they don't die. Uh, real quickly, how does it work? It's very simple. Food for the Poor for the past 42 plus years has worked hand in hand with countries, 15 countries, Latin America and the Caribbean, to set up systems and structures, programs, and 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 basically a system for delivering aid to where it's needed most. In Haiti, we have been established for more than 38 years now, just celebrated our 38th anniversary, going on to 39 years now, working hand in hand with pastors, local ministries, schools, hospital systems, feeding centers, Throughout, there are more than right now, there are more than 13 distribution centers across the country of Haiti. There are 2,210 distribution endpoints. Majority of those are local pastors and local churches. The systems and the structures are already set up. What we need is food. Yeah. We need your help to provide that food. $80 will feed one child for this coming year for the full year. That's over 700 meals, if you think about it. Um, two meals a day for one child for the coming year, $80. You cannot do that. Paul, I cannot feed uh, one of my children for a month for $80 uh, in, in the New York tri-state area. It's too expensive. But for $80, you could feed one child. Now, I, I want to ask you, how many children would you like to help? Because uh, to be honest, we've got a list of about 600 plus names of children that are that are going to die. They're going to perish if they don't receive food immediately, if they don't start receiving proper nutrition, carbohydrate, protein, uh, the nutrients that they need for their body to recover from the malnutrition that they're experiencing. And that's what's in the food for the poor uh, food services. But we can get that to them. If you call right now, 855-349-4673, 855-349-4673. If you'd like to give online, you can just go to instagood.org. That in, that's instagood, I-N-S-T-A, like Instagram, but instagood, G-O-O-D dot O-R-G, instagood.org, uh, and just give a gift online. It'll take you less than two minutes, I promise you, to do it. You can do it on your phone, on your iPad, on your computer, whatever you have handy. Just go to instagood.org. It's a safe, secure website. We've set it up so you don't have anything to worry about. Instagood.org will be able to uh, take care of you. But if you give a gift of $240 right now and in the next 10 minutes, it would normally feed three children for the next year. It's going to feed six if you call right now. If you make the gift now, we're going to make sure that we feed six children for $240 uh, for the next year because of a matching challenge that's underway. So help us take advantage of that. 855-349-4673, 855-349-4673. Paul, um, you've got some audio from trips and travels that, to the region where you've been. Tell us what we're about to listen to. Nirlan is a mother that, quite frankly, when we met her, and we still, we cannot forget her because of her tremendous faith, her tremendous desperation in that faith, and how she realized that it was not going to be her efforts alone that is going to help her feed her children. She needed the help of someone that God would send in her path. When you pray to God, what do you say to him about yourself and your family? I ask God for strength and courage with my kids. I know God doesn't ever give any pain without relief. So I ask him to keep giving me strength to better raise my kids. Maybe put someone on my path that'll make a difference in my life. Making a difference in her life uh, by helping her feed her child. That's how simple this is. 
and friends, your gift right now at 855-349-4673 helps effectuate that. Paul, you you were the one that had that conversation with her. You you saw into her eyes. You saw into the world that she was living in at the moment. Talk to me about what she faces on a day-to-day basis. You look around. First of all, she's living in a what we would by definition call a home, but it was not, it was something far from it. It was a rusted shack made of rusted metal and rotten wood, a door that was tied by some rope. And of course it was scorchingly hot inside this home. And what was even more desperate was the look on her face because she knew that that day there was no food for her children. She knew that her small children, if it wasn't for the, the interjection of someone whose compassion would say, Here's how I can help. She wouldn't know how the next day without food would go. Their children, her children are really everything to her. As a mom, as you listening right now, watching us right now, you're a mom. You understand as a parent, you understand how you would do anything to make sure that those children get that next meal. Make sure that they can have a future because of that next meal. And that's exactly what was going on with this beating heart of this mom near near lawn who just just wanted to do anything to make sure she could feed her children yeah friends i am so honored to be working with food for the poor kevin mccullough we've we've known of their work and partnered together in different ways for about 20 years and this is a group of people um that when you talk about really trying to impact the world and make it a better place to make um it more an equitable place where the poor uh, can receive the help that they need. Uh, Food for the Poor has been laser focused on this. And I have to tell you the integrity with which they run their operation, the effectiveness. I have been with them in Haiti and Jamaica and other places where I've seen the ghettos where we've built houses. I've seen the feeding centers where we fed hundreds of children at a time. I've seen uh, the water systems that we've installed in towns that had nothing but nasty, gross water sources. And to have within a year's time, a brand new system to be able to bring clean drinking water and usable water for their cooking and other needs. It just is life-changing what Food for the Poor does in the lives of these people every single day. And that's why when they said, Kev, we need some help this year to make sure that children in Haiti eat during this very hot, very blistering summer. Can you help us? I said, yes, absolutely. Let's do this. 855-349-4673. It's a very simple plan. There's about 600 kids that need food help this summer. Your gift of $80 will feed them for the next 12 months. Uh, but right now, if you call, an $80 gift will go twice as far. Two kids will eat because of a matching challenge that's underway. But I need you to call right now, 855-349-4673. $240 would normally feed three children. Right now, it's going to feed six for the next year. Would you help us right this minute? 855-349-4673. You can also just text Kevin to 93999. Or you can go online to instagood.org, instagood.org. That's going to be able to uh, allow you to give online, and you can do that right now. 855-349-4673, 855-349-4673. Kevin McCullough coming right back from Times Square. Stay with us. Stick around for more of That Kevin Next. That Kevin Show with Kevin McCullough. 